is XXX Tentacion being milked after his death. XXX Tentacion was a music artist who was born on January 23rd in Florida. X started his music career in 2013 on SoundCloud after being released from a juvenile detention center. X had started to quickly grow and would change the world with his music. X's music would make an impact to many people as time would go on, myself being one of them. I wouldn't be making music if it wasn't for X. The man's inspired me. X would also help the community and many others with his platform that he had. See, one of his most well-known positive challenges was called the Helping Hand Challenge. It helped many and he got many others to start donating towards kids for the right cause. It was a good challenge with good intentions behind it. But sadly, on June 18th, the world would see X pass away, his death hurting many. As time moves on, the music and multiple things X had worked on would slowly see its way into the public, many fans being excited to see the rest of his music that was left. But after some time, some fans would start to think that X was being milked by his mom in the record label. Eventually, they would slowly start to drop more of X's merch, music, and even a documentary. But after four years of his passing, is he being milked? Most fans would say yes, but some say no. So what's happening? Well. They're still dropping music and even dropping some new footage from X that hasn't been seen before. By the time this video comes out, it should have already released about a day or two ago. And when they first teased the new footage, some people thought it might be music, my friends included. I, on the other hand, had a feeling it probably wasn't going to be music, and so did many others. We ended up being right. But people reacted to the statement saying, it's getting old they're milking him, and they should just let X rest in peace. Now, it has been said before that X does have music in the vault with Juice World, The Weeknd, and Lil Uzi Vert. Hell, there could be more music from X that we don't even know of. Now, I am happy to see more content from X after he's passed, but after a while, I feel like it should have all been dropped by now. Fans have said that they've been milking X's name for a few years, and it's starting to truly feel that way. After nearly half a decade, if there really is just a small amount of stuff left, shouldn't they all just drop it by now? Now about 4 years ago, on a reddit page on r slash xxxtentacion, someone asked if Cleo, X's mother, is milking X after his death. Now, Traps are Gay responded with, You guys need to realize, she's doing all she can and working with what X left. She lost her son. Her son now has a living and breathing child. And there is Jen, and Cleo will do all she can to support them. Be grateful we're even getting anything, because we most likely won't even get a next album till early 2020. So be grateful she's given us these voice memos because all she most likely has is a handful of finished music and the rest is most likely unfinished or just beats. So be grateful we can continue to simply hear X's voice. Be grateful we can still get merch. Now I do agree with what he said to some degree. It definitely sucks losing a loved one, a child of yours at that. It definitely hurts a lot, but at some point, does it feel as if you're dragging it out for far too long? Releasing that stuff is wonderful, and it's far better than ever releasing it, don't get me wrong. But after some time, everything should just drop, and they shouldn't be dropping more and more stuff, especially if it isn't that necessary. My point in case being the Look At Me album that dropped earlier this year. While I do appreciate some of the older songs finally being on other platforms officially other than just on SoundCloud and YouTube, the other half were songs that were already on all these platforms. I'm glad we can listen to those old tracks on Spotify and whatnot, but it felt unnecessary to drop that album and have half of it be old music and the other half stuff we've already heard. Nothing new was in it, and it was all stuff that everyone has already heard. As I said earlier, and most other people would also say, the only pro about the album releasing was the fact that we got the old tracks on all platforms now. But then there's also the situation about what was never intended to be released or heard. As Just Be You said on the same reddit post I talked about earlier, they ended up saying, We're hearing things he likely wouldn't want us to hear because of the quality and it's not finished. Sure, she can release it, but at what cost to his musical legacy? Some of you don't know this, but Cleo was living a good life before X became famous. She was already in a large house, driving expensive and wearing designer clothes, so she'll be fine. He was the one who was homeless. As you were the other person mentioned, there's probably not a lot of X music left, so there's no way it'll sustain them over the long haul. Eventually, Jen is going to have to get a job like everyone else. It may be a tough pill to swallow for some of you, but it's facts. Now, I have to agree with them on this. There isn't enough music left that will last them much longer, especially now. But they already have enough money to live the lifestyle that they want to and choose to live. 
Now some could say that using the old recordings or re-releasing the old songs is just something to do so they can profit from it, but they are keeping his legacy alive and showing the world what he had to offer. Now, in 2016 when X was in jail, there was a phone call with his mother. Hello? Hello? That's, yeah, that's what Papa. did you say you wanted to talk about? Huh? What did you say you wanted to ask me? <laughs> Dang, that's how you answer the phone? <laughs> Oh, Yo. you laugh like this funny and, and all of these things. I, I don't see nothing is funny. That's why I, 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 that's why I'm like this, man. I don't see nothing is funny at all. All right, so what do you want me to do when I call you then? No, I, I, barely, I, I, barely, I barely talk to my mom, bro. I'm just trying to talk to my mom and not be depressed. What do you want me to do? This is a, this is a conflict, the conflict we always have because what do you want me to do? Do you want me to call you and complain about life and say how horrible I think life is and how much I want to hurt myself and be depressed or what you do you want? You can say all that and let them hear you so they can go put your ass on the picture. But that's what I'm saying. What else do you want me to do? I'm calling you happy, laughing, telling you I appreciate you, telling you I'm trying to learn my lesson in here, trying to respond positively. I think it's all a bag of class. Don't tell me that while you're in all the All right, class. I'm going to leave you alone. Tell me that while you're in all right, bye. Outside. I'm going to leave you alone. Bye. It doesn't have anything to do with leaving me alone. You said you wanted to talk to me about something, so here no, I am. It's 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 nothing to talk about no more. It's fine. Just say, stop being a little bitch. I'm not it's being a bitch, bro. I'm not being a bitch, bro. I got on the phone to talk to my mom. I got on the phone to talk to my mom. So you, you said you don't want me to laugh and, and keep the key on the phone, so I'm leaving you alone. No, I'm away. saying you just keep kicking. <laughs> In the call, it seems like all X wants to do is talk to his mother for some comfort and to just talk overall. But she ends up seeming busy and doesn't really care much. She's calling him a bitch and look, I understand that things are tough and the situation probably wasn't the best, but the way she handled that call wasn't the best way to do so. X was going through some shit and he just wanted comfort, advice, and to end up talking to his mom while he's struggling in jail being depressed. Towards the end of the call, they do end up talking, so that does seem good thankfully. Now if you want to hear the full call yourself, it's in the link in the description below. It's only 6 minutes long, so it shouldn't take too much time out of your day. So some would say that the way they're handling everything isn't ideal, but at least they're trying in doing so. But at some point, it just becomes dry and it's almost like you're milking an empty cow that has nothing left to milk. Wow, that was probably a terrible and corny ass analogy. After half a decade, will they still be releasing the rest of X's work? Or will we have seen all there is to see at that point? No one knows, and none of us truly know how long they'll release X content for us to see and hear. I'm a huge fan of X and I love seeing more stuff. But I also think at some point, it has to come to an end. There's only so much you can do to keep his legacy and the things he's created going. The rest you can only really leave to the fans. Are they milking him? Some would say yes, some would say no. I think that after nearly half a decade since X's passing, that at this point, they're just milking him. If you're releasing old work we already know, or just some stuff that has been known to exist but waiting to release it for the public, it gets kinda old and redundant. I think that eventually it should end. There should be no more content from X. I mean. There's only so much for them to do and release, so it has to end soon. All the promotions, challenges, and content, it's wonderful to see, but it's just being dragged out for far too long at this point. I love X, but there's only so much they can do. Hopefully, when it has been half a decade, everything that is left to be released is out there. But who knows what they'll do and what they decide to do with X and what he's left behind. Hopefully, the rest of his work is great and something we all appreciate, but let what he has made come out if needed and let his legacy live on and officially come to an end. The fans will do all the work when it comes to letting his legacy live on. Milking him now is just gonna make things a bit dull. Hopefully, we can see everything and everything just officially comes to an end soon. Rest in peace, XXX Tentacion. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This isn't the type of content I usually make. I don't make video essays or whatever you wanna call these. I thought, you know what, why not? I'm a fan of X, it's a question and 
why not try making some other stuff, you know? I want to try all these things, and it doesn't hurt to try. If you guys want to see another one, just let me know. I'll make another one. There's still going to be gaming videos, skits, all that stuff. You're still going to see everything that I've been working on come out. But this is just something new to try out and potentially work on in the future. So just let me know if you guys liked it, want to see more, or if this was the only time I should try. I'll probably make one more just for fun, just in case as well, you never know. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, and let me know what you want to see in the future, whether it's another topic to talk about, a certain game to play, or just whatever it may be. Just let me know, and I'll respond with whether I'll do it or not. Or I won't, and you'll just have to wait and see for me to do it. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and enjoy the rest of your day, whether it's morning, night, or afternoon. With that being said, I'm Gen Danger, and I'm about to dip. Stay safe, take care of yourself, and stay comfy.